Hi again, and welcome to part two of the build a professional artist website in just five minutes. This video is going to be just a little bit longer than five minutes because I'm going to show you in detail how to set up your gallery and set up a website that looks just like this. Of course, it will be your work, your portfolio, and it's going to be simple, clean, and professional for your showcase. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. And if you haven't seen the first video, please go back and uh, follow that video first and then come back to this video and we'll show you how to set this up. So again, we're going to create a simple, clean website like this as an example. And then of course you can customize things as much as you want later on. So first thing you want to do is go back to your dashboard. If you followed the first video, you know how to get here. And this is basically the WordPress dashboard. So WordPress powers over 60 million sites, I believe right now on the internet, huge, huge um, amount of websites. It's a great place to um, you know, have a, a, a first website. It's easy to use and simple to learn. So we're gonna show you how to do that. So the first thing I wanna do with my new website is I wanna go to themes. And you can do that by going to appearance and then clicking themes on the left. Next, I'm gonna go to install themes. And you can upload themes if you have any custom themes that you purchase later on. Uh, but for now, I'm going to search a free theme that is really cool. It's called Hatch, and I'm just going to click Search. And this theme right here, I'm going to click Install Now. Okay, so it just installed the whole theme for me. I'm going to click Activate. All right, so now my new theme is installed. If I click Visit Site, you will see that the basics are there, right? It's still kind of blocky, something's wrong. It's not, not everything's in there. So we're gonna set this up so that we can use it. So I'm gonna click Customize, and I'm gonna go ahead and go to Site Title and Tagline, and you can actually edit the tagline. I already did on mine, so I put artwork of Antonio Lara, the artist. Um, you can put whatever you want for yours there. You can also color the background if you want. You can change it. I'm going to leave it white because that's really elegant, really clean and professional. Um, you can add a background image if you wanted to. You can choose a front page and you can even customize the footer. So I'm actually going to customize the footer. Let's say I don't want to show this powered by WordPress and hatch link in there. I'm actually just going to highlight this right there and delete that. So I'm going to leave that deleted. So that way my site looks professional without that copyright stuff in there. So I'm going to hit save and publish. Okay, so now our website is saved. I can click close up here. And next, I want to add a, uh, I want to go to the header. I'm going to click header here in the appearance menu. And I can add a custom image for that home, uh, home page. So let's go back and see what I'm talking about here. So if you go to the home page of our website, you see there's a big square box here. So I can put a featured header image there, something cool that talks about my website, maybe my gallery. Um, so I'm going to go down to choose an image. I'm going to select, um, let's say, I'm going to select this neon cafe picture here. I'm going to click upload. And it's automatically going to crop and fit that image to fit into this uh, box here. And if you want to have a specific size, you can, of course, um, use the size that they recommend for you. So if you want, you can even crop it here, you know, do whatever you want. Um, let's say I want to put it right there. I'm going to hit crop and publish. All right, cool. So now that image is set, I'm going to make sure I hit save changes at the bottom. And you can visit your site here to see how it looks. So cool. We've already added that image in there. So now let's start adding in my biography, a little mini biography here in this block. So what I'm going to do is go back to my site. I'm going to click Antonio Rolero the, the, um, up here in this menu bar. I'm going to go back down to users. And I'm going to click your profile. And what that's going to do is take me to my profile. And if I go all the way down to the bottom, you'll see one that says biographical info. So I can put anything I want here. So I'm going to put this is my short bio, shortest bio, art bio in the world. Okay. So once I do that, I can hit update profile. And now that's saved also. So if I go back to my site and I hit refresh, 
Now that I hit refresh, you'll see that my bio is now showing here on the left side. So of course I can add more to that and put in a whole paragraph of stuff there. For the sake of this video, keeping it short, I'm not going to do that. So now I want to start adding in my gallery images, uh, some of my artwork. I want to show people the artwork that I'm creating. So let me go ahead and um, go back up to my website here. I'm going to click the toolbar again. And where you want to add your work in is going to post. So you're going to go to post, you're going to click all posts. I'm going to get rid of this hello world one. I'm going to hit trash, put that in the garbage there. And then I'm going to click add new so I can start adding in my first artwork. So first thing I'm going to do is name my artwork. So let's put artwork one. Let's give it a description. Let's put oil on canvas just as an example. Next, I'm going to go ahead and go down here to featured image. This is where I get to select the image that I want to use. And WordPress will actually show you all the images in your computer or actually in your WordPress install, your website. I'm going to click upload files. I'm going to select a file here. And I'm going to pick this image of the Eiffel Tower and wait for that to upload there. And once that uploads, I'll actually be able to use it. So let's go ahead and click set featured image and now it's showing us that that image has been set um, you can add a category here if you want to let's say you want to split up your work into like oil paintings or let's say if you're a photographer you know maybe you have landscape photography or um, pet photography or whatever you're you want to separate those things into so now I can just hit publish Once that go ahead and goes ahead and publishes, I can now go back to my website again. So let's go back to visit the site. And you can see that our artwork, our first one has been published there. So if I click that, it will actually take me to the image and the description and everything is there also, which is really cool. So let's go ahead and add three more of those just to fill up the bottom there. So back to repeat again, I'm going to go to posts. I'm going to go to add new post. Let's call it artwork two. Let's put a description. We're going to check oil paintings. We're going to set featured image. We're going to upload files, select files. We're going to pick another image. And then once that's uploaded, we're going to hit set featured image. All right, there it goes. Now we're going to hit publish. All right, let's do it one more time. Add new. Artwork three. Description. Of course, you can put whatever you want on yours. Just for this, I'm going to put photography and add a whole nother category. Let's go back to set featured image, upload files, select files. I think you're kind of getting the hang of this by now. <laughs> Sorry for the repetition, but you know, practice makes perfect, right? So let's go ahead and let this upload. Alright, I'm going to click set featured image again, click publish, and I think I'm going to stop there for now. Alright, so let's go ahead and check our site and click visit site. And you can see that the images we're adding are starting to go ahead and populate down here at the bottom. So very, very cool. It looks beautiful, elegant, very nice. Um, now the last part that I want to show you before we wrap this up is I want to show you how to add some links, you know, some navigation. Maybe you want to write some more about yourself. You want to add a contact page. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go back up to the toolbar and I'm going to click my name again. Then I'm going to go ahead and go to pages this time. I'm going to go to all pages and you'll see there's a page already called sample page. I can leave that alone. It doesn't matter. I'm going to click add new page. I'm going to call this one about and then you can put your own description here description about me 
this is my longer bio. So you can put, let's say, a whole bunch of stuff there. Let's say you want to add a nice little image too. You can click add media. I've already uploaded a picture of myself, but you can um, upload a picture the same way you did before. And then what you're going to do is go ahead and go to publish again, or you can also click preview and it'll show you a preview of your page. So see there, we got a preview of our page. So I'm going to go back to edit page because I want to go ahead and do that. This page, I think I'm going to click a template and set it at full width so it looks a little bit nicer. So it's preview what that looks like. So that way that stuff on the side there isn't there. So it's just a full width page of my bio. So back to edit page. I like the way it looked when I previewed it, so I'm going to hit publish. And then I'm going to go ahead and go and add one more page. I'm going to add a contact page. And then I'm going to go ahead and just put contact me at 555. Let's say you want to add your phone number there or by email at contact at myemail.com. And if you want to add a link to your email, let's highlight this. You'll see a little insert link icon here. And for email links, you want to use mail to. And then we're going to put our email one more time, myemail.com. All right, so we can click add link. And if you want, you can preview this page. Uh, again, you can put full width here. If you want to preview the page, we'll go ahead and preview it. All right, so we see that we have our info there. I'm going to go ahead and click edit page again. And I like the way it looks, so I'm going to hit publish. Now, in our, um, we can click view page, and I want to show you something here. We created the pages, but we don't have any menus yet, right? You don't see a menu here. So let's go back to our site, and we can actually go to the left menu where it says appearance, and we can click menus. And now we're going to create our own menu. So I'm going to call this top menu. I'm going to create the menu. I'm going to go to primary. I'm going to click top menu here, just selecting my menu there. Hit save. And now I can actually add my pages to the menu. So I'm going to add contact and about. And I'm going to click this button here that says add to menu. And now I can hit save. And that's all there is to it. Now my menu is saved. If I click visit site, you'll see that I have my nice little simple menu there so that users can actually click contact or about and they can see everything there. So of course you can always add more pages, tons of new content. If you want to keep adding pages you can just keep doing the same thing there. If you want to keep adding your artwork or your photography um, you can go ahead and keep adding that by adding new posts. And that's all there is to uh, setting up your website. Um, I would definitely suggest you do some more advanced techniques which we will create in future videos such as you know SEO optimization techniques and um, more plugins that you can add that will make your site a lot cooler. Um, the cool thing about WordPress is that there are thousands of plugins out there for free that you can use. Um, tons of stuff you know to integrate with Facebook, Twitter, and all kinds of stuff. And that's why we recommend using WordPress because people are always releasing new things. So it's really really good tool to use. So that's it for this video. If you have any more questions or if you're a little bit confused, feel free to ask in the comments below. Thanks and see you in the next training.